dealing with the crisis. Now, uh, katika ibada ya kwanza, tulishiriki neno hili. Sada tuko part two. Part two. Crisis au hatari ya hatari fulani. Amen. Hutokea kwa sababu kadha. Jabra kwanza ya tokea kwa sababu tuko duniani hii na nikupita tunapita na hatupiti kwa jia ya kando tunapita kwa kushida ulimwengu. Hallelujah. You see you cannot become an overcomer and there's nothing that you have overcome. And that's why Bible inasema tutaingia binguni by being overcomers. The other day niliwaambia kitabu cha Revelation chapter 2 na chapter 3 jina overcomer limerudiwa mara saba. He who overcomes. He who overcomes. He who overcomes. Yes. Heaven is for overcomers. Amen. You, you, you see why you overcome? Because Jesus can only make you an overcomer. I said Jesus can only produce overcomers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you seen a teacher kama baba jeli alikuwa mwalimu ambaye anakuambia nipe mtoto hata kama ni mujika kiasi gani na nitamuunda kuna mtu ambaye hata katika huduma katika huduma kama utaomba vizuri mambo mengi hayatakustua utagudua kwamba god has raised you as an overcomer and that's why katika kitabu cha ufunuo 12 verse 11 e chapter 12 inaongea kuhusu shetani kushuka kwake mapigo yake inamalizia na kusema hivi now wakam shida verse 11 now wakam shida kwa damu ya mwanakodo na kwa neno la ushuhuda wao ambao hawakupenda maisha yao hatakufa Mutu anaye shida crisis katika maisha hii ya kwenda biguni. Lazima uwe na the three things. The, a powerful testimony. The blood of Jesus. And sacrificial love. Adika hizo tatu. Mukristu yote ambaye atatokea, atokea, atokea. Umepitia changamoto kazini. Umepitia he, kijana tineja. Abaya taenda. Uone amefanya arusi takatifu. Sio tukufa neti takatifu. Wanjua kuna arusi za neti ya white. Na kuna arusi. Mama di anaibia arusi. You know the other day rafiki yangu moja. Levelled. In their church, kuna problem. In their church. Kuna kijana likuja, kaniambia, nikabeza, brother, kamo najua, mumeonana kimwiri na huyu, usifanya harusi. What we need to do, hamuta kosa harusi fulani, sivo. Ham, musifanya harusi ya madhabahu. Fanyeni arusi ya kiserikali. Hawa kuogea. Lakini wakayada kwa pasta wa muschana. Wakaongea, wakaongea kusama. Pasta, tukwabie kitu. Yanyewe tume... Eh, eh. Na bishop wa apostore faith alituambia. Kama tumeona kimwili. Iyo si arusi takatifu. Si arusi already. Kwa maana kama mjui arusi ata kisheria. Watakiwa kuona uchi wa mwenyo naowa baada ya wedding. Dio naita katika law consummating the marriage. Wegina hapo nakuta ata kisheria uliharibika. 
Lakini damu ya Yesu, hii damu ya Yesu kuna nguvu kai. Ili ili tuosha wote, buliosha hii. Yeye, yeah, hii damu mshukuru Mungu. Sasa Bwana siwa sana. Sasa walipomwambia akasema huyu bishop ndiye ameogea ukweli. Lakini katika dini yetu hatuulisagi. So they went there for what they walifanya. Sasa sasa kwa kanisa hiyo kukawa na harusi nyingine dada amevaa neti ya white mzuri na amefunikwa uso. Lakini akona miba. Unajua katika kiapo kuna kiapo tunauliza kama utakavyo simama mbele za Mungu wakati wa hukumu. Wakati siri za nafsi za watu wote zitawekwa wazi. Ukijua jambo lolote la kuzuia, akauliza hivyo. Mustafa akasema hakuna and the boy said hakuna. Pastor huyu akasema wacheni uongo. Nini hii naona hapa? Hii ni hewa. And then he said lakini kwa sababu kwa sababu ya dini yetu tuendele. Let me say this. Kuna kitu kimeingia makanisani badala ya watu kwa wasafiri wa kwenda binguni wanakuwa wa dini. And the devil is taking advantage. Juzi kuna kuna kijana ameingia satanism and they differed with the mother. Kabisa. Kijana akamwambia mama, mama nimekupeana. Haya. Kama u, ko. Mama nimekupeana and from now you see. Something happened. Mama kaza kuojeka, akakojeka, akakojeka. Kijana haongei. Mama akiwa Kenyatta Hospital, HDU. Kijana kaenda na hopi kasa mama ni utaenda. You must go. Utaishi. Na hezi uliswa. Wakaita pasta wao. Pasta kaja sijui na manji na nini mafuta. Haifanyi kazi. Because most altars, makanisa mengi, madhabahu imebaki na udini siyo wasafiri wakwenda. Siyo wasafiri wakwenda binguni ni watu wa dini. And that's why Yesu alisema wengi wameitwa wachache wataingia. Nikitaka tuokoke zote wokovu wa kuingia. Amen. Amen. That's why Job Job banda ya kushinda majaribu na maumivu mengi. Katika Job 19 verse 25 Maneno about Job alionge hapo ni ya kutia moyo sana. This man of God said, let me just read it very quickly for everybody to hear. Akasema hivi Job 19:25. Akasema wakati huo bitu maisha yote mwili wake umejaa vidoda boros. Akasema lakini mimi najua ya kuwa muteteaji wangu yuhai na ya kuwa hatimae atasimama juu ya inchi na baada ya gozi yangu kuharibiwa hivi lakini pasipo na mwili wangu nitamuona Mungu nataka tuokoke wokovu ambao utasema I will see God oh you must be an overcomer amen tutatokea kwa crisis to go overcomers. And that's why Bible nasema wakati kulionekana the attack of the devil katika kitabu cha ufunuo. Yes, and yet kukaonekana watu wanafauru na wanashida. A statement was issued to explain the credentials. How do they overcome? Na ikasemekana and they overcame him and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they never loved their lives to the end mama matatu ukiwa nao tafauru amen ushuhuda wa mdomo wako your mouth contributes a lot to your overcoming crisis your mouth 
Can I tell you something? What in your family? In your family? Nini waze? Single mothers, youth, introduce a confession. Introduce a standard confession. Introduce. Neno lolote unanena lina alika roho ya hilo neno. Just introduce. Kue sasa kwa nyumba yako kuna mambo watu hawasemi. Kwako hamuongei failure. Kwako hamuongei failure. Unakuta kama kijana moja likuja hapa kaniyabia bishop. Kwe tu sisi tumezaliwa wana umesita. And we are all poor, beggars, desperate. Yeah. Kama hili wadi kwa sawa kule muranga. Rukugo, gethe, gethe, gethe. Teli, you know. Hey! Nika muanga wabia brother. Hatuobi leo. But I'll teach, I'll change your testimony. Because they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. I want to change the word of your testimony. I want to introduce a testimony to your brothers, to your mother and dad. Simple. Enda useme hamjalaaniwa. Na wedo useme, I declare by the word of God. Kusiwe na mutu kwa yo nyumba, atasema hivo tena. Enda uodoe kwa midomo ya your brothers and your parents. Maneno kusema umelaaniwa. No, siru huso waga hivo tena. And the boy went. And was so serious. I was surprised after three, four months. The same man came. Kwa bishop, sure we are not cursed. Tangu tu wachane. Baadhi ya vijana sita. Wane wakona kazi za maana. Mirango ni funguka. Your word of testimony matters a lot. Amen. Now we are very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Now watu unautembea na wow and the way they speak. You can overcome crisis. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu inuliwe. You see, kitu kingine ni kwamba kinahusu word of the mouth. Kuna wakati Mungu atakuacha because ya mdomo wako. Kama sasa, mimi tukitembea na wewe. Ungi tu ubaya ubaya ubaya. I think na sikiburi na kwa hiyo tutaachana tu tukutane mbele au kama uko kwa gari yangu tufungulie music worship tusiogee mpaka safari ishe tuseme anaweza anaweza yesu afadhali tuibe hiyo wimbo badala nini ya wewe uogee kuna mangari kubeba watu afadhali afadhali uweke wimbo bwana uweke wimbo eh yeah? waacha irima ibe wimbo ah hallelujah praise god kama moja sema kwamba hata hii itapita Weka hiyo is better in the Ata hii ita Badea kupepa mutu kwa nyuba Kwa gari yako wapea sasa Tumelaniwa Mimi naona kama nyuba yetu itaichi Unajua Even your husband Akiwagea hivyo wabia is okay I'm driving Weka wibo wa maana Ata your son Your wife Your mouth matters a lot Haya Do you know who is the bear na mungu aweza yote Na weo naongea kutokuweza anything. Kuna mahali mungu will be uncomfortable with you. Do you know who is the bear na mungu wabaye? Akinena neno tu mirima na yuka. Na wewe unasifu mirima bere yake. Kuna mahali mungu. Either unyamaze, usikize, au muachane. And that's why katika bahari ya shamu, the only advice mungu agabia Israel ni wanyamaze. Kae ni kimia. You know say it? Kaeni kimia muone. God said, Today is how I don't need your mouth. Mito meenu ni paya sana leo. Kuna wakati wapendo wa God does not need your mouth. Mito mwako meharibika. Ukisikia na kuoni, nyamaza saa tumia macho. Halisema, tulieni, nyamazeni, na mtaona wakovu wa Yehovah. May the Lord bless our lives. Amen. Confession very important. The Bible, Bible talks about the blood of Christ. Let me tell you the truth. You need to discover Damia Yesu. The blood of Christ. 
And number three, unampenda mungu sacrificially. Hakuna pahali utakubali ata kidogo kumuacha bwana ata kama itabidi uteswe huachi mungu ata kama itabidi mtu akuchukie usiache ata kama itabidi utokutokueleweka kitu kimoja ufanye shetani ajue kwamba unaenda bali is because you love god so much and you can't compromise those three things are very important by the grace of the living God. Hallelujah. Now, kwa hivyo, ni vizuri sana. Now, uh, ukiangalia Biblia, utaona kuna kitu katika moyo wa mtu chatakiwa kujegeka. Dio mambo ikija, ipate kimejegeka. One time, turweka hii tank pale, it is 24000 liters ule food yalikuwa jege de nyumba abaye anaelewa what we want hakupatikana alituma mwingine wale mnajua 24000 liters is a lot of water tuliko sababu yenu sababu mnazidi kuokoka lenye kiongozi hagojei watu wateseke una, unaenda mbele yao Wakati governor Kidero alisema maji itafugwa ndio niliweka hii ndio kifugwe na kuwa mejaa No nilipoweka kiateka mimi nilikuwa nakuru anambia bishop nimeona crack Kwenye nyumba ile nyumba ile generator Na ninaona alikuwa na phobia kwa sababu aliniambia kuna wakati moja tank moja nilaruka na 10,000 liters likauwa ngobe nyingi zikafagiwa sasa likuwa ana, anaona vile hii ni 24,000 liters itafagia ikaliza yote itaenda bishop doke darua <laughs> nika kucha ule food nilita ni ule nikuwa takuita originally na kuambia hii kanyumba kaliwe kwa chuma nasikia ka ijinia kisema tabama ambia ijinia utaumia Hile chumbe, uja mali kwa na hasira. Bila zikarudiwa, sijui chumbe zinawekwa, zinawekwa Y25. Wale muna jua size yo. Haka sima, bishop ni nunulia ishirini. Zawa hapi, nunua. Mm, na ukae kada uone. Kaja, asema bishop sasa, mukita kwekea budoza tatu juu. Wekea ni sasa. Kiru kimuja, chatakiwa ufanya hivi. Usigoje uwe na crack. Don't wait for the clerk jega mujengo imara ukijua anytime kwaweza tokea kitu cha kilo nyingi let me say this praise the lord wakati tuliweka msingi wa nyumba tulikuwa na maijinia kama watatu na mimi sikuwa najua nyumba zinajengwa hivyo Kwa maana chuma ambazo zilitumika kwa foundation hii nyumba na simiti it was too much paka nikauliza engineer are you sure you are not exaggerating akasema na bado bishop this how houses are supposed to be built saa hiyo tulikuwa tumejenga hii sehemu ya kona tu kidogo unakuta simiti na kuja 1200 2000 Chuma zina maona rodi, zina eto zingine. Haya, tukamaliza. Tukimaliza, already the ground floor, likuwa matumia 2.9 million. Paka unaulize zimeenda wapi. Wewe wana foundation zimeekwa, unaulize pesa zimeenda wa? Zimeenda wapi. Hello, praise God. Buwana asuwa sana. Haya, chuma zikata kuwekwa. Tukasa kuweka, tukaweka. Mhmm. Mm Kabia bishop can say something? Kulingana na ujuzi wa ground. Hii nyumba meweka. Tumeweka nyumba by you can comfortably add a juu floor kumi. Gorofa kumi. Akampia as long as 
Hii foundation umekua hivi. Mwe de juu, mwe de juu. Ata mwkita kwa de juu more than ten. Sahi tukifuwa shumba yigine. We are so comfortable. We know the foundation. Weka musingi abao. It will allow more storage. It will allow more. Weka musingi that you allow more weight. Amen. Kukicha demand wa semba wekelea. Kanisa ikiogezeka weka another floor. Amen. Ata huyu akija huyu kuja kuja kuja. Huyu akija sasa sababu labda atakuwa mtu wa kujinia. Labda atakuwa the chair person of development. Atasema na bishop walitusaidia. Kwa maana wakitaka kujenga hawatabomoa ni kuongeza. Na mtoto wako akija si utaolewa baadaye. Naye akija labda mtoto wako ataongeza gorofa ya ya nane. Si ndio? Hata yeye akiwaambia, "Oh! Wewe ni hii. Wakati bishop alikuwa anajenga wale wa zamani ule mzee mnaonaga na kaga pale, sasa nitakuwa mzee na sema tu bariki weni." Unaita mzee uko pale? Aliweka msingi wa gorofa. Kwa hivyo atasema, "Comfortably add another." I want to say, "Please, sio hakuna haja ya kila wakati kulipea." Hakuna haja kila wakati kuchipa chiba chini. Weka musingi ambao kukitokea another demand. Utasema oge zea. Amen. Hallelujah. Kukija sasa usemekane kwamba kuna weza wekwa mabo kule nchu. Oge zea. What? Kija na chuma mzito kuliko hii unambia don't worry onge there why I was there I know the foundation jio moja kwa void crisis ni mara moja weka msingi aba hutakwaibisha weka msingi aba kukija a stretch weight uzito aba how tarajiwi. You still survive by God's grace. Hallelujah. Ka, kama mutu ambaye, kuneza tokea a new demon, you can still handle it. Problem ya watu ni kwaba, most people are not very careful. Wakati umepewa space. One thing I want to advise you, foundation I work throughout you can't stay 10 years laying foundation kuna season ya foundation na kama season ya foundation imeisha mungu hata kuwa na space ya kugojea tena ukaekae kuna wakati mungu anataka maliza foundation haraka I want to bring a new thing maliza foundation haraka I want to bring a new gift Maliza foundation haraka Hallelujah Kama leo sasa munasikia Tunaida 10,000 sita We are ready The foundation, the system I remember Wakati tulieda mkutano Kuulizu wa Are you able You know I remember I was just there Anjua watu wengine wanangojea wete mkubwa, watu mkubwa, watu hajui kwa haba ukubwa siyo, siyo nyama, ni yesu na akiri. Nerika na directors wakeja commercial bank, tulikuwa na baba zenish. Amba, wewe, diyo mnanuna yo property, we are the one, and I'm the bishop. Sayo, nifini nikuwa ni meomba sana, nikuwa na kamulika mekonda kidogo, sama, I'm, and I'm the bishop. Do you at least? Come on, we're your guy. Saudi, say me kitu. Hello. To kaya to kaya biwa now. To kaya da equity. To kaya biwa now. Nini do you mukrofai kupewa loan? Last month, Kanisa iwe na igiza average kila mwezi eighty one million Kenya shillings. Do you know to defanya maesabu ya makazi ukona? We are not going beyond. 35 million. Sasa, jameni, ati niyambu hatu, tukakutana, kasama, bishop, 
ni kama you are not qualified nasema mnaambia nani mungu already ameongea you can't talk after god has spoken nikabaleta nikapimwa na kuitishwa document ambao normally makanisa mengi hayana si tuko nazo nikawekelea kasaba bishop you mean you have this nikaambia wacha hata ingine nikaitishwa another one which is very tough nikawekelea hey hii chachi kombele nikawapa katiba yetu katiba sema bishop that church is well structured hello praise god bwana inuliwe sana nikauliza sasa bishop pesa i asked a question very interesting nikauliza watu sasa nyinyi siku hizi pesa huwa inawekwa wapi kwa banka au wapi nikauliza swali very strange saa hii wakati wa campaign niambieni Raida na Ruto pesa ameweka wapi ni pesa gani ya campaign umeweka sema ni kweli pesa hiyo nikasema kwa makanisa yetu muandike makanisa 500 kuna pesa huwa hatureti na tuko nazo wewe mkubwa ni pesa yote leka kwa banka bana kwa hivyo kwa hiyo hesabu muongeze mara kama tatu tukapelekana na ikaingia <laughs> although it was tough Bwana asifiwe sana. I want to advise you. We need to be very careful with the foundation. Kuna kitu utaweka. About anywhere ukienda, no one will change you. No one will change your vision. No one will change your vision. Utaletewa new standard, but your vision you still pursue. Amen. That's why mnaona Like now kiangalia Daniel. Daniel the way waliingia Babylon. Babylon. Daniel alianza kwa maana Babylon kulikuwa na miugu ya sanamu, imani ya kigeni, maisha very funny. One thing you need to lay as foundation. Let's see one verse here as we continue. Daniel chapter 1 wakati Daniel aliingia kule kitu cha kwanza alisema haya praise the lord lakini Danieli that is verse 8 Daniel aliazimu moyoni mwake ya kuwa hata jitia unajisi kwa chakula cha mfalme wala kwa divai alivyo alivyo kuwa kikunywa now what happens kuna statement you will declare before god na itavuta the government of heaven there is a young girl here there is a young boy here ambaye aweza tokea aseme kitu bingu ishuke na serikali yote ya binguni iwe upande wake hallelujah you may be weak you may be small you may be insignificant by appearance but you can take a stand that we agree with the heavenly government and from that moment utaonekana bingu inakufuata when this man said sitajitia unajizi bingu ikao upande wake and that's why walipopewa mtama na maji peke yake after 10 days wakawa na nyuso nzuri za kupendeza na kilogram nyingi kuliko wale walikula nyama why the confession Daniel made at the entrance ilifanya bingu iingie naye katika Babylon i say in just Christ's name hallelujah ukiingia kwa hiyo marriage declare something ukiingia kwa hiyo company declare something ukiingia katika hiyo maeneo declare something hallelujah i say declare something that you cause heaven to back you up declare something that you cause it just to surround you make a confession that you make heaven heaven iwe na mkutano kwa ajili yako What same let us meet and discuss that brother that spoke on our behalf yesterday. Let's meet and discuss that young girl. Abawa aliamua kusifu. 
Hey, hey. Let's meet to bang vile tutatumia ule mzee ambao katikati ya wengi aliamua kwa upande wetu. Don't worry, waweza kuwa ujulikani lakini your statement will change your situation. Daniel alipoanza hivyo, heaven backed him. Hallelujah. And now Mungu akamchagua ili kupitia kwake ufunuo gift wisdom ya Mungu ijulikane. Kuna vile unaweza simama na Mungu aamue sasa kuanzia leo he has appointed you to be his ambassador. Na waanze kupewa hekima huku anaye mbele. Waanze kupewa karama huku anazo bere. Waanze kupewa miujiza huku anaye mbele because you exist for God. No, haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Now look at me. Ukisoma 2nd Kings chapter 7. Utaona tu verses ambazo zinashikana. Now, kiu cha kwanza watagudua kulikuwa na jaa paka watu wanakula mafi ya jiwa. Wengine wakaanza kuchemusha watoto wanao watoto wa kule watoto. Now, wakati mfalme walienda kwa nabii wa Mungu Elisha. Elisha hakupea na story. Alisema nisikieni neno la Bwana. 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1. Nisikieni neno la Bwana. Bwana asema hivi kesho panapo saa hii kipimo cha unga mzuri kitauzwa kwa shekeli na vipimo viwili vya shairi kwa shekeli la goni la Samaria hiyo ni nini prophecy kaleta something niangalieni do you know kuna unabii unakaa kwa hewa hivi ukugojea who to lad on do you know, do you know nyinyi kuna utajiri Mungu ataka kupeana kwa sababu ya Kagudo Road, kwa sababu ya mambo makubwa sana. It's there. Inagojea who is qualified? Who can be appointed for this? Let me prove it. This prophecy ilitolewa watu na ikakaa. But ukienda hapo chini nasemaje verse 3 basi palikuwa na Watu wane wenye ukoma penye lago la munji wakaseme sana. Nataka muangali what happened. Elisha alitoa prophecy na akaena shuri zake. But kukapatikana watu who qualified for the prophecy. I want to announce this by God's grace. Right where you are. Kuna jabo uneza amua. Na uvute unabii fulani. Abao mungu amekua kitafuta mtu wa kutimiza for the last 10 years. No, can I ask a question? Kuna wakati moja tulitebelewa hapa na governor. Moja. Uh, jina governor, kuzi Kenya is quite threatening governor governor hey, hiyo jina ni governor hey. sasa mimi nikaambia kina baba mama joy na kina mama re, mama jo sababu ni ni governor aliabua na mtu siuta wewe bishop wetu hujamsalimia mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ni tena kama nakwasema abia bishop nitakuja kwa kunywa chai hey. mimi ni mwana zamani sasa what happened tukapaka ragi kanyuba ketu hapa juu tukatengenesha hata kabijiko ingine ya gold paka governor sema hii tutakulia na heaven ni chuchu nini now when governor came you will notice vile alivyo pale kulikuwa na radi cruiser mpya ine protocol jameni protocol hawezi toka kwa gari mpaka mimi host niende hapo afuguliwe anisalimie ni introduce mke wangu na watu twende hakuwa hivyo kabla ya kuwa governor akiwa governor ah hii tulizungesalimiana kwa mitaa wana ate mro mo there 
watu kama president ruto they say tulikuwa mazishi ya bishop jiri akasema alikuwa mtu wa chicken jina hasra they are tukuja naye because of background but now those people kwa kalimbia they don't use their vehicles nakubuka baba kuna ndugu yetu mmoja hapa anaitwa baba gadhua alikuwa kampeni zamani walikuwa na kampeni ya uhuru ah wagemchezea bwana eh hey, mweke ke walipoenda bombers of kenya kukatagazwa he is president immediately things changed walifukuzwa kwenda nyumbani acha samia uhuru aba ah kuligana sheria he is the head of state magari magari ambao iko na crown coat of arms ikawekwa hapo mpya karibu magari 15 gari ya president idio na bendera bili ikaletwa wakaona mwenye wametoka kunywa chai naye sasa chezewi do you know there is a way you can present yourself before god na bwana tu akuchague wacha uhuru ni kura za watu zilimchagua do you know kuna kura ya mungu as a sema i now appoint you to be i now declare you are and then sasa kuvuta hiyo appointment kwa maana very soon there will be realignment and reorganization ukute wewe tumekuzoea kuna magari unapewa na mugu kwa fever isiyo ya kawaida just because you are vip of his government do you know kwa nini president luto na kina raira wanapewa security they are vip of the nation oh hallelujah 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 kwa ba kipita hapa utapotokeni ondokeni 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 na bread unasema nini naondoka wewe ondoka unatuogea ni ondoka god can make you a vip ukienda tu uinua mikono hivi maraika wanashuka mapepo inaambua ondokeni abasita wa yehova anaongea ukipiga magoti hivi ejo sarau due to hear what you are saying you are vip hallelujah ukifungua biashara yako na kuta customers wamejaa kwa maana lazima iwe na tabia ya vip of god mungu haitaji kura za wananchi god does not need democracy he need theocracy may god release you now how to mechagua ni government by people and for people god has a government theos theocracy government of god na katika serikali ya mungu kuna ma president na ma minister na ma cabinet secretary men and by wamekubalika that's why bible says present yourself to god na hii kitu naanza na wewe like now sasa galia unabio umetolewa kutakuwa kwenye nako samaria wakati watu wanakuwa mafi ya jiwa mafi na mafi imeisha wanachoma watoto wanachemusha watoto wao god says tomorrow such a time kwenye nako samaria unga utakuwa unauzwa pesa kidogo sana na dhahabu na pesa na magoi itajaa kwa nchi sioni unabii umetajwa sasa unakaa kwa hewa who is qualified who is fit for this prophecy but i give god praise kwenye lango kuna watu wali behave kwa jia abao they qualified for the prophecy bible says wakaseme sana naomba mtakapokaa jiona my, your wife mtaseme sana mpaka mvute unambi fulani about jehova nauliza who will go for us naomba mtakapokaa na mume wako sio mabishano na kuraumiana mtaseme sana hey haya ya 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 wenye ukoma hawaka ulizana nani ako na ukoma kuliko mwingine they talked about common policy common goal wakasemaje 
wakasema sana bona tunakaa hapa hata tufe Mungu aliona watu ambao wamekataa defeat kitu kimoja kitafanya Mungu akuchague for prophecy is because umeamua kuwa na tabia fulani ambayo Mungu wako naye umeamua hey, hey, walisema hapa walisema we cannot stay here again tukika hapa tuta kufa and we don't want to be sikizeni watu wote walikuwa wamekubali kukufa jai imezidi but somebody say no we have faced this issue tukika hapa tutakufa nini nyingine tukiingia mjini wako na jaa nasi tutakufa humo nasi tukika hapa tutakuwa vile vile haya twende wakati kulitokea language twende god chose them when they said kuna vitu lazima ziwe cancelled wakati utatabua dada ndugu yangu kuna mambo lazima niweke x ni back na moja god is start using you wakasema tukirudi mjini we will die weka x tukikaa hapa we will die weka x wakasema basi twende 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 jeshi la Assyria about it was a very rich army ilikuwa hapa mbele very rich army in the world very rich i think it was the richest army sema zile ni jeshi the richest army around ambao wako na a lot of millions and millions eh twende kwao wakituo atuwe wakituo tu hifadhi twende let me take a step of faith wakawa waliposema hivyo hiyo ndio jia jehova alikuwa anagojea bwana sema wakapiga hatua hivi wengine wanaanguka na mikono hivi and any step they made kwa jeshi lile ilitokea kama mlipuko ambao naweza huwa so walistuka wakatoroka wakaacha everything at pesa wenye ukoma wana walipoenda kwanza niko kura wakashiba wakavaa majaket bwana unajua majaket ya ame inakuwa na mifuko mingi sio hapa na wapi wakavaa wakaweka dhahabu wakaweka wakajaa bwana ugekuta mwenye ukoma amenenepa sio nyama sio kunen sio kukura sana ni dhahabu imejaa hiyo hiyo ame ilikuwa na hema nyingi sana na hema moja peke yake iliwaweza wakasema nao why do we stay here si tuite wengine kule na tuambie hata mfalme anje wachukue dhahabu walipokuja it was said karibu kila mtu Israel alikuwa tajiri alikuwa na dhahabu kwa mfuko guo ya maana na unga ulijaa kila pahali why decision of for a bash cause god to appoint them kwa kilisa serikali yake may god help us now may god help us now walimaliza crisis watu walikuwa na kura mafia punda mafia jiwa vichwa vya punda paka wanachinja watoto lakini within a day dhahabu ilikuwa imejaa na chakula why kuna watu walichaguliwa kutimiza unabii wa kuondoa jaa and today anza kufikiria na kuogea in a way god can appoint you kuna vitu tapewa just because you are vip na serikali yake kuna heshima utapewa kuna nguvu utapewa haleluya bwana asifiwe that's why wakati mfalme wa seria alifikiri kuangamiza Elisha alikosea I pray that God appoint you and anoint you in a way that whoever ataamua kuinukia atakuwa amekosea Because ukisoma Biblia nasema kwamba mfalme wa Seria alitumana ili Elisha ashikwe 
Kwa sababu yeye huzuia avamie Samaria. Na ukiangalia Biblia inasema hivi. Um, praise God. Katika 2 Kings chapter 6. Alituma jeshi kubwa yede muji wa Dothan. Waka mshike kumteka nyara. Waka mshike Elisha. Komana anazuia. Anazuia. Anazuia vita. Anazuia avamie. You can be a VIP. Na as long as uko, wa, uko hai. Nyumba yenu haita anguka. As long as uko hai. Kanisa itatajirika. As long as uko hai. Hakuna mutu kwenu atakosa kazi. Why? There's a prophet allowed. There's a VIP of heaven's government. Hallelujah. As long as Elisha alikuwa hai. Mufaume wa Selia. Hage fauru kupiga Israel. Paka kaamua ashikwe. Alipo yanda kushika huyu mte. Bible na semanji. Inasema hivi. Praise the Lord. Aha. Kwa hiyo. Akapereka huko farasi. Na magali. That is verse 14. Second King 6.14. Na magali. Na jeshi. Kupwa. Wakafika usiku. Wakauzingira muji ule. Pande zote. Hata asubuhi. Na mapema. Mutumishi wake yure mutu wa mungu. Alipo ondoka. Na kwenda inje. Kube. Pana jeshi la watu. Na falashi. Na magari. Wameuzingira muji ule. Mutumishi waka kasema. Ole wetu. Bwana wangu. Tutafanyaji. Haku anajua kwamba. Anaongea na VIP of the kingdom. I say wakati wa crisis. We, VIP of the kingdom. Hamutari ya gina wakilia. Mutawabia. Mutawabia nyama zeni. Amen. Moses was a VIP of the kingdom. When Israel. Walisema. Woi. Bahari tatuwa. Walisema tulieni. Tulieni. Kwa maana hama adui. Hamta waona tena milele. May God cause you to be a spokesperson. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I sense God is raising somebody here. Utakuwa kiondoa crisis. Utakuwa kiondoa machozi. Utakuwa kisimamisha watu na ambia tulieni, tulieni, tulieni. I'll talk to God about it. Hey! You are crisis remover. You are crisis solver. You are crisis remover. Kwa maana mafuta bwana nakupa. Itafanya wakati wa wote kuna crisis. God show you the formula. Hey! Sasa huyu Sasa shida iko hapa. Mutumishi wa Elisha dialitoka inje akapata jeshi la Syria limezunguka munji. Wanasema tutataka Elisha. And this man said, "Now my master, what do we do now? What do we do now? That is crisis. Crisis has come. We have thousands of soldiers armed. Wanatafuta kichwa chako." But because you are VIP of the kingdom, you are connected. Elisha Kasema. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 16 in Asema. Akajibu. Akamuambia. Usiogope. Maana walio pamoja nasi. Ni wengi. Kuliko wale walio pamoja nao. I pray from today, you have, you start having network with the angels. You start having network with heaven. Hallelujah. Elisha ata kushukulika. Asema, those who are on our side. Amen kuliko hawa. 
Anasema we unasemaje na tuko wawili hapa? Na wale ni zaidi ya 1000. What are you saying? Akasema don't worry brother. Walio upande wetu ndio wewe kuliko hao. Wakati Elisha aliona ujamaa namsubua, akasema Jehovah mfumbue macho aone. Open his eyes that he may see. I say, you know what the second? He said, God make him a partaker ya VIP anointing. Ah, haleluya. Kuna jamaa wengine ufuata wakubwa paka unaheshimu mikosi uko na mkubwa. Muko na yeye. Haleluya. Bwana sasa sana. Mnatembea na President Ruto. Na wewe ni mtu hapa tu hapa tu. Nasema uh, usimulize huyu niko naye. <laughs> hey. Mkubwa, eh hey, habari yako? Nani huyo? Oh, oh, acha ingie tuko naye. Kuna watu utasema because of your anointing wacha waingie niko na niko au niko naye. Haleluya. Haleluya. Unaonekana kama hustahidi heshima. Lakini isemekana wacha tu waingie. Huyu niko naye. Elisha liabukiza a simple servant anointing your prophecy. Akasema God open his eyes. In other words, mupe macho ili ulinipa ili liwa nikiona the way I see a just Lord mshirikisha hii mafuta huyu. Mshirikisha hii favor. Ah, mshirikishe. And the Bible says something. E Bwana na kusii. Mfubue macho yake apate kuona. Bwana akamfubua macho yake. Mtumishi wake akaona data zaba. Kile kilima kilikuwa kimejaa falasi na magari ya moto yaliyomzunguka Elisha pande zote. Jesus. May God now hata kama huna nguvu nyingi aone vyema tu uone mama kubwa ambao watumishi wanaona Jesus Do you know Elisha alifika hapo vipi kakufuata Elijah na akiambua ka anasema sikai ka sikai why because the person I'm following is a VIP of the kingdom I can't lose this man Nafuata Elijah I know him who dia mebeba mafuta dia mebeba mafuta wengine mwenye mazeni now is my time to follow this person niabukizwe kuna watu ambao utapata hii VIP anointing because you followed on wakati Mungu aliongea Hallelujah and then Bible says alipofugua macho akaona akaona jeshi kubwa now something else bible nasema elisha wa haya now walipomteremkia elisha because they came jeshi la seria liliuliza kwa elisha ni wapi tumetumwa tumnyakue tukamuue huyu nabii tummalize walikuja mpaka kwa mlango wakamteremkia elisha verse 18 akamuomba Bwana akasema uwapige nataka muangalie the word kupiga strike them you see do a research Elisha akasema wafanye vipofu but he said strike them striking means piga wapige people don't know kwamba When Elisha disema wapige how those angels fought because that was enough wapiga na upofu wapiga na upofu hallelujah sawas wakapigwa na upofu sawa sawa na neno la Elisha Elisha akawaambia jia hii sio na muji huu sio ni 
nifuateni mimi nitawapeleka just vita yako itakuwa vita ovyo kusubana watu a vip way of fighting that's the Bible says our weapons are not carnal but they are strong in God to the pulling down of strongholds hallelujah 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 kwa mbona naweza angalia mtu ambaye amepagawa na macho hivi pepo inaondoka tukumwangalia vile litoka hata haelewi because your weapons are not carnal may God anoint you ili tuagamize crisis we need to remove crisis. When you come, what did you pata? Wow, do you want to me? What do you crisis? Kuna mili utaoba. Kuna mili utajipena kwa buwana. Na maa seme, na wea ni mekuchagua. Na utasaidia wengi. Na wea ni mekuchagua. And because I've chosen you, nitakupa pesa. Nitakupa the habu. Nitakupa the backing, the resources of the kingdom. I pray God appoint you today and allocate you the resources of the kingdom. Yeah. Hey! Kwa nini budget ikipangwa ofisi ya president Ruto inahesabua pesa is because ni VIP of the country. Kwa nini ofisi ya Atone General inawekewa pesa Kwa nini nyumba yake nyumba yake inaikuwa pesa? Kiri anakula maji nini? Kwa nini hapa wafanyi kazi? Do you know what God will do to you? Budget ya heaven ikisoma. They will allocate you some resources. Kuna watu hapa and I want to speak by the authority of God. In time God plans his work. Kwa maana wewe ni partner with God. Kuna kitu kitaamuliwa kije kwa mifuko yako. Kuna kitu kitaamuliwa kije kwa mikono yako. I'm saying so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do you know who God akina president? See your policemen wa kawaida. No. Normally, while they guard president, when it was snipers, how other police wana wawakopa? They came here one time. Unakuta mevaka kwa kwa sniper. Sniper. Wakinkia pahari, policemen withdrew. How do you know that like president? Ni mtu ambaye akiambiwa akupiga risasi kwa gate pale na apige jicho ya kushoto they don't miss. If you are VIP you don't receive ordinary angels. You receive classic well trained angels. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The battles you are engaged in the angels of power na kuzunguka. They are experts in defense and ministry. Kwa mba ukisema mutu afugwa macho, they do it very quickly. Ukisema strike them with blindness, they do it. They are so much expert. Kwa mba they are snipers. A sniper ni mutu ni sasi yake razma yede mahali ya meambiwa. Kulikuwa na mshida ya pirates. Hapa Somalia. Nani alimaliza snipers from America. Kuna ka group kalitumwa. It was said waliabiwa. It was an order. Hiyo story na pewa. Hello praise God. Watu naambua kwa mkienda pale make sure umepiga risasi hapa. That's why because David was a VIP. He had sniper anointing akirusa tu jiwe hakuitaji kuwa na jiwe la kupoteza it was said katika gadhi kulikuwa na majitu matano na david 
alichukua mawe matano every stone was to deal with a specific giant na stone ya kwanza of sniper david aliporusha ililenga pahali ambapo lazima goliath wagekufa Jesus bless us with warfare. So my katarabo shikarababosa. I see God is raising you. Kwa maana hauishi kwa sababu ya tubo yako, unaishi kwa sababu ya kingdom. Unaishi kwa sababu ya kingdom. Kuna tabia utaanza kuwa naye it will attract angels. Kuna tabia utaanza kuwa naye nyumba yako itahesabiwa budget ya heaven your count your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nimwambia last time kuna bishop aliretire. Na akiretire the first person kuja kwa ofisi yake was one of the strongest witches in Kenya. Mwanamke. Akamwambia bishop, tangu uwe bishop. It was known. It was known. Wewe huwezi iba pesa ya kanisa. Wewe huwezi fanya usharati. We huna kiburi. So the only way is to kill you. Tulikujaribu na pesa. Pesa kanisa uchukui. Tulikujaribu na wanawake. Oh man of God. Wewe. Tulijaribu muke wako. Muke wako ni muobaji. Na ikajulikana you are going to raise a strong church. So nikapewa kazi. Na nikapewa viumbe. I track you paka nipate space ya kukuua na alisema amefuata wa bishop for 30 years 30 years 30 years akamwambia vile wasema retire i want to get saved niombe niokoke why akasema now that's the only way now nimewezo na nguvu na alisema kama alimwambia kama siku moja huu bishop alikuwa na kitui kuvuka mto hivi walimngojea hapo wakiwa viube vya mapepo mia mbili. na walijua tu watambua alipokalimbia alipokalimbia kulitokea kutoka kwa anga malaika wanaowaka malaika elfu tano. and they struck na akamwambia bishop That's what always happened to you including your wife and your children. Tuliambiwa tuangushe watoto wako wote sasa wamefanya harusi na ndio usisafi. Nimewezwa. Ah VIP nataka ukizeeka shetani aseme I have done nothing huyu jamaa asingemweza. Hey God allocate allocate blessing to you. Naomba every morning kama binguni wanakutana they allocate angels for to you they allocate money to you they allocate resources to you for you shall do exploit the word of god says they that know their god shall be strong and they shall do exploits why for they will be representatives of heaven nyinyi bwana tawatumia hivyo let's start for prayer Bwana Mungu na shanga kabisa nikifiki lijinzi ulivyo nyota guru mvyo yote pia viuba vyo kwa uwezo Roho yangu na ikuimbie Thank you Jesus Christ Jinsi wewe Ni pembo safi bwana 
Ipe bwana ipo. Ipe moyo safi bwana mingi e binguni ukami wewe na we. Niongoze katika safa. is here na neno lake linatimia kuanzia leo weza kuwa wewe unalia kama gehazi ukisema oh ninaangamia lakini god you make you partake of anointing kila manabii wanaona utaona kila mitume wanaonyeshwa utaonyeshwa kila binguni wanagawiwa utagawiwa elisha akasema bwana Muguze huyu dia onde vile naona dia ajue kile kinanizunguka dia elewe siri ya ufalme the lord is touching you to see what they see to walk in his ways mtaanza kuona bwana akiwabadilisha kwa jinsi ya kawaida utaposeta hapa kashatarabo kosha rimeseta rima kashataraba bosa we bless you king jesus we bless you lord of lords we bless you lord of lords we worship you tusema upokee sifa bwana wa mabwana asante bwana ina mikono yako to speak in tongues speak in tongues speak in tongues receive this anointing eta pakata rabosa hata kama hujajazwa jazwa leo jazwa leo worship god in your tongues rishaka tababoka hata kama hujawaina na kurua receive the ghost receive the power receive this anointing sharaba pakata popoko taraba eh shaka mirabosa ini masakenema rebo shaka tababosa yeta bina rabosa taraba bosa jesus vashaka tabo shaka Rimama Shanda Oh worship, worship in tongues Be delivered now Koparama Leo Takasika Bingu ifunguke Ufunuo waze kazi Giza yondoke Madai ya shetani ya ishe Bingu yondoke Majeshi ya giza ya tawanyike Malaika wa buwana wa kuzunguka kama Elisha God appoint you God appoint you As such a time for his government Hey hey Oh mama makata pokosa Oh fuguriwa Fuguriwa Gome za giza si ondoke Utawara wa kuzimu ishe Gubu za uchawi zi tekepe Dami ya yesu kuzunguke This is the fire The cup of the blood of Jesus Sharaba katarabo sete nema Jesus we worship you We worship you Lord Halalama sheta laposo Shera ripo shota pakasa Shekete kasota rima katarabo sika Asante bana Asante bana 
Oh, the peace of God. Amani ya Bwana ya kushukia. Uwepo wa Bwana wa kuzunguka. You are a VIP of the kingdom. The Lord will just use you. Bwana atakutumia tu. Usikubali uongo wa watu. Usikubali uongo wa dunia. Kila Mungu katika majina haya anaonyesha manabii utajiri anaopeana utukufu anaopeana siri zake hautanyimwa god you make you a partaker of the vision god you make you a partaker of the riches god you make you a partaker of the breakthrough usijidharau tena usiwa wa kawaida tena the lord is raising you the lord is raising you the lord is raising you asante bwana baba tunakushukuru asante bwana uko kwa hii nyumba kuna magonjwa unapigana naye kuna roho ya uzito unapigana naye ina mkono juu i want to pray for your healing either kuna a spirit of heaviness au ya ugonjwa unapigana naye ina mkono juu kutoka leo ufunguliwe ina mkono juu i want to say something watu ambao umeinua mikono wengi kile kinakufuata either ni ugonjwa au ni pigo ni kitu si wewe ulianza naye ni kitu kimekuwa kikitokea kwa nyumba yenu hata watu wengi wa familia yenu wamekuwa na attack kama hiyo uko naye i said it's an attack ambao umesudia iko kwa watu wa family can you hear the voice of god god sio tu kukuponya na kuponya he is destroying the root the root of this problem the root of this problem the basha tapaka sata pokosa shake it reba baba Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Kuna madhabahu ya giza inaisha. Kuna madhabahu imekuwa ikiongea kwenu. Roho Bwana iteketeza. There's a lot of darkness, a lot of cash, a lot of a sudden disease. Aba imekuwa kienea kwa nyumba yenu. A lot of suffering, a lot of oppression. We bless you Lord. Baba tunakushukuru. It has happened. Bwana ameniambia the problem uko naye ni kitu kime umeshuhudia hata kwa watu wengine that family. It's something ambao inaenea. That network imeisha. The root of that demonic attack is not there. It's not there. The blood of Christ takes over. Na ukitoka hapa enda uambie watu wenu na we mwenyewe ujiambie na uongee kwa kila kitu speak a new language speak a new confession overcome by the word of your mouth overcome by the blood of Jesus Asante bwana Jesus Christ rose from the dead Yes, oba kabisha. Let the poshata papa sakarabosa. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Kuna misingi ya kiuchawi. Kuna roots za laana zinateketea in families. Kuna madhabahu katika nyumba nyingi hapa. Saa hii The Holy Ghost is busy burning those altars. The Holy Ghost is busy burning, burning, destroying those altars. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Asante bana. Thank you Lord Jesus.
kutoka leo kiwango chako ni kingine usiende kazi ukitarajia kuwa the same you are lifted kutoka leo nyumba yenu ni tofauti pigao yesu makofi ah